Yeah. That literally makes you want to cry. Rio's driving his own aeroplane. This is not for the faint hearted. Baby that's going to a pageant. Good morning. Good morning, my darling. You're so joyful. Let's write your little candle. Excuse my pajamas. No. They don't match it. Just gonna wake up your brother. Um. I'm not getting up again, that's it. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to another Vlogmas vlog. And hey, so we've had two days off. We just didn't have much planned. I think the first six days of December were just full on with loads of different things we were doing. I think we just needed a few days to like be at peace. <laughs> we didn't really go out or do much, but we're back. And today I'm taking the kids to, I suppose, is it something first? I don't know, but it's something I know that Rhea's gonna enjoy and I'm gonna enjoy. It's an RAF museum in London. So it's gonna be like aeroplanes and everything, which he's gonna love. Um, and I will love to. And I was thought, Stuart, why don't you take yourself for a massage? So Stuart's having a massage this morning. So that'd be really fun. I don't know what we're gonna do later. It's like really pouring down with rain, so we'll see how we feel. But yeah, it's just me and Rebel having breakfast this morning because the boys, Honey. Boys are still sleeping. So I'm gonna have to get them up soon because it's nearly nine o'clock. Rio was crying a lot in the night, so possibly. No idea why. Just a funny stage. I actually met someone in a coffee shop yesterday who's got two kids the same age gap as us and she said her toddler's going to the exact same thing. So good to know that other people out there, she's not you. <laughs> Once the boys are awake, let's chat some more. Should we go see the elf? Where's the elf? Where's it gone? It's gone there. Where can you see it? Oh, Where is it? There. <gasps> oh my gosh! The elf has been so naughty! He's put your chocolate calendar up high in the tree! Your yes! I didn't do it! The elf did it! Naughty elf! It's What's it's happened? Out. What's happened? It, can you not reach it? Can you get it down? Can you get it down? Evie was trying to stop her do him doing it. Oh, almost. Oh, yay! Yeah. 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 Evie, whatever your name is. <laughs> Ralphie's so naughty. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. So we're never going to be able to get it now. It's too high. Yay! Say naughty Ralphie. Yay! Yeah, oh God. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it number nine today? Dolly! Dolly! <laughs> yeah, let's open it. Oh, Okay, Dolly. Yeah, Dolly. Rio first. Oh, oh. what is it, Rio? A gingerbread man. Gingerbread man. Here's number nine for Dolly. Oh. Oh. I'll go. Oh, gone. So, my darling, you've got a massage in it now. Oh my god, I forgot. That's a nice treat. Stuart literally <laughs> said to me two minutes ago, we're in the bathroom, we've got a frosted window that's obviously covered in rain. He was like, 
that's window that window is how I feel this morning. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> that's so drama. <laughs> but not after a massage. After a massage, this is exactly what I need just to like regenerate myself. Oh, well, Rio, we need to get ready soon because we need to go. We're going to the aeroplane museum. The aeroplane. Yeah. You keep he keeps saying that Mickey Mouse aeroplane. Oh, do you know why? He does have an aeroplane, doesn't he? No, it's because I've been telling him we're going to get on an aeroplane. We're going to go and see Mickey oh. Mouse in America. We've got four weeks. We get an aeroplane. We go to Hawaii. Press this one then, Rio. Good boy. Orange dress. Orange wheels. A bit silver. Oh, sparkly. Very Christmassy. Oh, very nice. A dog. Orange tray. Right, breakfast for you because we've got to get ready and out. And tomorrow tray. Yeah, tomorrow tray. Oh, so That's good. Amazing. Tomorrow. That literally makes you want to cry. I know, it's amazing. But a train's only a day away. And stop, but. Right, let's get ready for my massage. Leaving the house is a military operation. <laughs> Stuart's gone to have his massage. I've literally lined up all the bags. I'm gonna feed her now, because if I don't feed her, like before we get in the car, there's no point, she'll just scream the whole way and I don't want that. I've booked for 10.30, that's like just over half an hour away and I'm sure the drive's at least half an hour, so I'm just gonna relax about that. I'm sure they'll let me in a later time. I just think with two, you just can't push yourself like that, there's no point. You just gotta be as relaxed and as calm as possible. So I'm gonna feed her, have my coffee, and then we're gonna leave. <sighs> we get in the car. She hates the car seat, basically. So I wanna increase every chance of her being happy. Rio, are you watching the buffalo? Do you wanna come sit with Dada? Daddy? I get our names mixed up all the time. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Stuart's Dada. There he is. Hello, hello. Right, are you two ready? Woohoo! All the stuff we need. Right, everyone's in the car. Rebel isn't crying yet. That is a win. Rio's nice and relaxed watching his gruffalo. That's a win. And we're off to the aeroplane museum. Let's go! It's on tonight. Sing it, Rio. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. We've arrived at the museum on a very cold and cold and rainy day. Are you ready to see aeroplanes? It's a bit of fire. I think this is day out for me. I'm excited. Right, we've arrived. This is not for the faint hearted. You've got to carry so much stuff. Rebel gets pissed off easily. You're okay, we're in aeroplanes. We're in the aeroplane museum, honey. Rio, are you ready to see aeroplanes? Can you see them? Let's go. Wow, look at this. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Wow, this looks like a rocket. <gasps> Ooh, it's made of screws and stuff. Can you see the aeroplane up there? Wow. Yeah. Look, what colour is that helicopter? It's yellow. Wow, in the helicopter, up these steps. Woohoo! This is fun. Three. Four, five. Oh, we can't go quite in it, but we can look in it. Ooh, it's very long, isn't it? You can drive the helicopter. Okay, here is the driver of the helicopter. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. Ha! Ah! Rio, Rio, Rio's driving his own helicopter. Okay, he wanted me to come in the helicopter. It's a bit of a squish. Sorry, Rebel. I know, Rebel doesn't really like me sitting down. So you drive, drive us around. Woo! Off we go. Yay! It's okay, Rebel. Enjoy the ride. I'll shake a bit. Ooh, it's a bumpy helicopter. Yes, Rio. Well done. My gosh. Rio's driving his own aeroplane. Yay! Oh, good boy climbing out anyway. Well done. Well done. Oh, it doesn't spin, unfortunately. You having a nice time so far? I know we keep playing it, but we've got to have a million hands. I've already bought him a little aeroplane. We're going to go see more aeroplanes in a minute. 
trying to help him on the chair when I've got no hands. Ready? One, two, three, up! <laughs> this is impossible! <laughs> oh wow! Look at that one up there, it's a big airplane! We've made our second pit stop. <laughs> Rio has basically chosen everything on the shelf. Jelly, juice, what's it? We wanted it all. <laughs> now he wants the crisps. Are you having a nice time? Rio is now taking everything off the Christmas tree. What's that, a ball ball? Don't take any more off, please. Hey! hey. So to give you a little update on our day, I went to get a massage. So nice. And then we've come back. We're watching World War Two. <laughs> I didn't even put this on. Who put this on? <laughs> Me. And I, I just thought it'd be interesting whilst ordering Christmas presents online. So I need to also go to Argos today to collect. If you go to Argos, you're taking the kids with you. I'm only taking one. I'll take Rio with me. We're going to buy um, Rebels presents. I oh, Dyson. I saw it. Oh, <laughs> I saw it. No, I just signed up to the mailing list. <laughs> I saw the top, top of the list. I saw it. I ordered. I saw it. Oh, yay. So Rio, Stuart. Are you, are you sad that I saw that? No. You, you, you made, asked for it. You made me look. Rio is obsession with. I asked for a Dyson hairdryer. So am I going to get one? Ooh. Rio has an obsession with everything orange. So I've ordered an orange car. Oh, well done. I've ordered him a... He loves orange. An orange steam train. Oh, well done. From eBay. Yeah, they do really good toys and sometimes they're second hand, but they're, I like retro toys. This is a bit more extravagant. An orange easy jet plane. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy jet. It's from America, so I don't have come, but we'll see. What, do, what day is it supposed to come? It's like proper like... Oh, wow. Why can't you get that in the UK? Surely you can get that in the UK. You can't. It's just like... I just don't like bad aeroplane toys. It has to be proper. He chucks them anyway. I don't even know why you care because you know. get so upset every time he chucks them. I know, but I still like it. I bought all Rebel's presents from Argos. I also did a massive shop today for Rebel. Um, so I'm going to, it's probably all the things that Francis doesn't like. Because Francis is like, no frills. No, I literally no... go to do it at lecture today. I was like, please, when you go shopping for girls, because I go to dress Rebel and it's not, as, it's not got, as simple I've as got two twos. Rio. I've either got tutus or I've got sl um, sleep suits, basically. Ooh. And I don't want to, I want more practical clothes. And then he's buying everything with frills on them. Like, I don't want socks with frills because when you put them on, they're like, they frill out. They frill out. And for me, it's like so like 19, like. Hundreds. Just, just so tax. Guys. Can we just not have frills? Like, like Guys. Young girl. It's a girl. She's a girl, so she yeah. needs to be girly. No, girls' clothes, age two. Right, I'm going to tell you what my inspiration is for her. She's not age two, though. That's the thing. Type in three months. Even this is a bit better. But that's frilly. But it's And that's like... also from a shop. Yeah, all these clothes are great, but that, that shop is not environmentally friendly. But this is the vibe. I understand that, but I want babe, this vibe. I understand that you can't get that when this three when in a three month. Type in three month year old. I don't want frills. Just don't want them to be like a pageant queen. She can be like cool and not always pink either because I don't. Well, she's quite like fair skinned. She's sleeping on her stomach over there. She needs like different colors. She doesn't need pink. It brings out the pink in her. She needs what? She needs different colors. What's her colors? Do you think? If you're fair, red, kind of fair skinned. I think she's just like a summer, summer palette, like I am. Yeah, she needs a summer palette. This is the problem, right? So all of these clothes are from age one to six years. So we can't do that. Let me just let me go on to the baby's clothes. Boys' clothes are much easier. Okay, so try and find something that's girly that isn't a boy. Okay, this is even this is better. But babe, that's yeah, I understand. But where is it? So you want to wear? Do you want her to wear that? Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Okay. And it's very handy for you right now because it's like more practical. Gorgeous. So they're all very dark colours, Francis. No, there's no girly colour in that. Whatsoever. I don't want, I don't think she's a pink. I don't, I'm not a fan. I'd rather her wear this than this. Okay, it's so a bit that's darker. boy, that's girl. Does it matter? Why is that boy? This is that's still nice. Boy. That's nice. 
It's you see, look. It's so you, like you just want basically nice lines. Like uh, you want a t-shirt and tr and joggers. I want these kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I want for her. Okay, well I haven't bought any. There's of no that. frills. I don't need this frill. I mean, I don't mind that. I don't mind the occasional, like a dark. It is much nicer here. So basic frills are allowed. I don't want frills on her socks. I like this. Okay, okay so it's all very just like dark colours you want. I just want her to look like a modern baby, not like a modern dress baby, not like a baby that's going to a pageant. But can you understand why I'm struggling? Because all of those are very different to when she gets to one plus, we can have more fun. Yeah. But these clothes right now are hard work. You just need to go show them the wardrobe. It's like, it's like she's going to a ballet. <laughs> <laughs> Recital. <laughs> I've got a lot of tutus and a lot of frills because that's. And then she does a big poo with it to change past the tutu. You <laughs> can change her tutu over the poo, but it is it is a hard a hard one because I do want her to look girly. <sighs> My, the struggle's real. Duck. Duck. So change of plan completely. I was going to go and shopping and get all the stuff. Should have got it delivered. No night birdies all the Christmas stuff, but I've decided to stay at home so Francis can go to the gym. That's the kind of husband <laughs> that I am. Do you want to say hello to YouTube? No. Francis was desperate to go to the gym and he was like, I'm feeling like not myself. And I was like, oh God. So I caved. So I'm here looking after the kids by myself <laughs> as a single dad. <coughs> the, side, <laughs> the side of YouTube you just never see. <laughs> Yum! Yeah. Oh, more than cheese, honey. Yum! Yeah. Got Rebel here. Hi, Rebel! So, exciting news. I was just sitting on the sofa and I was like on Instagram and I saw my friend James in a panto and I was like, oh my gosh, that is right next to our house. Let's go! So, we've literally got our bags packed. I, I booked the show in like 20, 40 minutes. And we're off. We're going to go see our first panto of the season. Rio's going to absolutely love it. So I'm very excited. Francis, how are you feeling? Oh, I was just thinking, wouldn't it be nice to something different? <laughs> and then you were like, let's go to the panto. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you okay, hon? Because luckily I've been out with them both today. I was pretty prepared. You were. You are always prepared, Francis. So Rio obviously woke up late from his nap, so we're off. We're off ski, honey. We're off ski. So excited. We have arrived at the theatre. Hold my hand. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's outside there. Let's go down here. Waiting for Francis. Waiting for Daddy. Quick! Quick! Come on, Daddy! <laughs> Oh, where are our seats? Wow! Three, two, woohoo! Are we enjoying the pantomime? Love it. Rio, are you enjoying the pantomime? Rebel, are you enjoying the pantomime? Here we are in the theatre. Act two. Hope you stay still. An absolutely lovely day. Francis is here doing the. What are you doing, Francis? Daily evening kitchen clean. He's just so good at the daily kitchen clean. I've just been in here with Rebel and then editing a little video for you all. I'm editing a video that basically is all about this time last year when we were putting the embryo in Rebel. The embryo in Carly, Rebel's embryo in Carly, and that kind of like tense few days whilst we we're in America. It's so tense because I felt like, for me, second time round, because I knew what was attached to the process, I was thinking about it more not working. Mm. And I, that wasn't in my mind, Rio. I just expected it to work because I didn't know any other way. Mm. But with, with Rebel's one, I was more conscious of the fact that we were traveling to America and we were doing the transfer the next day. I was worried about that. You know, you know, is she gonna get enough time to relax? And it was straight back to the UK and she had to crack on with her kids stuff. I was like, I, I wanted her to, be, I felt like she needed to stay still and all these things would probably don't matter, but. Do you remember when she called us and she was like, 
I've had a massive bleed. Oh, yeah. That was when we were hot. That was after we got pregnant. Then when we, when we were getting pregnant, then there was a whole thing of the numbers being really low, and they told us, oh, you know, you don't get too excited. It can, um, it has happened before where they start to diminish, and then, and I was so tense because we were like, well, we're yeah. pregnant, but we can't. Do you know what? I ne it's so interesting. Throughout the whole experience last year, I never got worried that it wasn't going to happen. I just trusted that I just had this, what I learned from the Rio experience is that you just have to have utter faith and utter trust that whatever happens, it's the right thing and the right plan and the right time for you. And I just had this inner calm of like, whatever happens, I so I didn't have that same like You're much pressure. Of that than me. I, I'm much more, I'm much more worried about, that was just more in my head this time. Yeah. But, she smashed it. She hung right in there and she's come. You know what I really feel at the minute? Because I'm spending so much time with the rebel. Like, I really, like, love her. Oh, God. I just love it when she just, like, smiles at you and she's, like, she's got her new... But no, but, I, like, I have a relationship with her now that I just... It's different from the beginning. Like... And I, I know people say, oh, you know, you think you can... You think you, you, you love your first and how could you ever love anyone... Oh, she's gonna pull on she's starting to pull on my heart and, and now I'm thinking oh my god maybe she can be my musical theatre star why would <laughs> why wouldn't she be that was my thought today I was like oh my god can she be my project <laughs> can she be my project <laughs> can she oh god wouldn't it be amazing you know how Maria loves airplanes I know it's just a hobby but like what if she loved musicals? We went to see the pantomime, obviously. What if she Rio was a bit wiggly today in the panto. I was really disappointed. Yeah, but, oh, come on, Stuart. No, I was, because it's the first, it's the first time ever we've taken to a show that he hasn't been totally mesmerised. There was a lot of talking. He loved the dancing. There was a lot of talking. It was just too much talking for him, yeah. I think. I think... Do you know they had, this is so interesting, I spoke to James, he was playing the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, yeah. and he's, they've had two weeks rehearsal, and that's the second show. Oh, wow. So they've only been, re they only been rehearsing for two weeks and then that's why everyone kept forgetting their lines. I love when people forget their lines. I love it. It's all interesting. Yeah, it's so fun. Um, how... So that's your friend. He's got very, very classic voice, yeah. isn't he? Great though. Yeah. Him and Lee almost could have been just in a musical, really. Which I like. No, they were such a talented cast. No, it was a great cast. I really enjoyed it and I'm glad we went. I love that about you and I love that about us is that ability to go... Should we go? There was go. three tickets right at the front. And I was like, hell, that's ours. How much was a pantomime ticket? Uh, it was a hundred pounds for three tickets. Oh, I mean, it was worth it, I suppose. Yeah, it was great. Night out. And the was amazing. I know. She was incredible. I know. But she's incredible because I know her every movement. She's oh, God, Frank, we go. Fine. Francis just thinks he's God. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> you are God. I'm not God, but I know her. So I'm like, I get, well, it's just a baby. She's got to be implanted. If you haven't got milk, then it's just a So, thank you for tuning in this whole... Yeah, and... This whole <laughs> vlog, and we're sorry, slash not... We're not sorry. But a little bit like, sorry we left you hanging for two days, you're probably wondering, oh my god, are they okay? <laughs> we've, we've been fine, we've just... We just needed like two well, days yeah, out. We, we, we did intend on two days off. We started to film, but then we, like, yeah. we weren't doing it. We anything. started to film and then we did nothing those two days. And they were like, this is so boring. Um, but I suppose we do need to do like what we do in the day when we don't go out. We've always been out every single vlog. Sit but basically around. I just sat there like a big frump. <laughs> Sit around and count down the minutes for his next nap. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's not even funny. I don't like those jokes. Dolly! So thank you for tuning in. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll definitely be back tomorrow. Sunday, fun day. What have we got planned tomorrow, Francis? Well, you might, I don't know, you're thinking about Battersea. I th I've never been to Battersea Power Station no, and it looks so beautiful. Yeah, maybe me and Maria can go to Harrods. <laughs> I w when I was younger, I used to love going around Harrods and looking in the Christmas department in, in the Harrods store. It was just like so... The last time you did it, you had such a good time, so I mean... Yeah, I'm happy to do it again. Obviously, with a baby, it's just not as... It's a lot of carrying and it's not yeah, as yeah. fun with the It's totally fine. I'm going to organise my day then. I loved it last time. No rules from France. It was perfect. Okay, over and out. We love you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>